everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you the latest and easiest method to unroot or unbrick your Google Nexus 7. This will be very easy. I actually need to do this myself. My speaker is defective. Actually, if you want to check out my video showing that, you can check it out. I will link to it. But uh, I need to take it back to uh, Walmart where I purchased it so um, I can get a new one. Anyways, uh, I am rooted. You'll, you will see Super SU in my app drawer, busy box right there. I do have Clockwork Mod Recovery as well. This is going to get rid of root access along with uh, remove Clockwork Mod Recovery. So this is going to take us completely back to stock. Keep in mind that uh, this will wipe data. So I don't know if it wipes uh, internal storage. I will actually make a annotation now. So uh, if it wipes the internal storage of the device or not. But anyways, to unroot uh, it, first thing to do is go into settings, scroll down, go to developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked. If you have to turn on developer options, do so. Make sure USB debugging is checked. And now you can click on the link in the description of the video. And it will take you to this website. If you have already rooted using my video or with this toolkit, you do not need to re-download it. Keep that in mind. But if you do not have this toolkit, just download it. Scroll down, keep going down, and you will see download right here. Click on this EXE file right here. It will take you to this site. Down on the right side here, click on Softpedia Secure Download. Uh, one of these two. It will download. It will be an EXE file. Um, you will see under downloads, double click on that EXE file, that Nexus Root Toolkit, hit run. And once you do so, uh, it will bring this up. It will bring up the installer actually. Uh, leave it on that destinated folder and hit install. I already have it installed so I'm not going to do this again. But it takes a little bit of time to install so be patient with it. And then allow it user account control and then it should open up automatically. If it does not, it should be on your desktop. So you can, oh, sorry about this guys. You should be able to go to your desktop and you'll see Nexus Root Toolkit right here. You can double click on it and it should open up. Brings us to this, user account control, allow it, hit yes. And now here is our Nexus Root Toolkit, which is how we are going to unroot our device. So what we can do now is uh, plug in our uh, Nexus 7 tablet into our PC. Again, make sure USB debugging is checked. If it is bricked and it's not booting up at all, you just plug it in. Don't worry about USB debugging, obviously. Anyways, uh, once plugged in, you're ready to go. On the Nexus Root Toolkit here, you will see back to stock. You have two options, can't boot up and device is on. Again, if you can't boot up, if it's bricked or whatever, soft bricked, just check can't boot up. My device is on, so I'm gonna leave that checked. And now you will flash stock plus unroot. So go ahead and press that button. The script uh, will completely wipe your device. So I'm assuming it's gonna wipe uh, all your apps. It's gonna probably wipe your internal storage. I don't know, I made an annotation earlier letting you guys know, so keep that in mind. Hit okay if you're ready to continue. And it says, which factory image would you like to install? And you wanna do that this Android 4.1 or whatever the latest one is, uh, you can automatically download it and extract it for you. That's what I recommend doing. So go ahead and hit okay and it's going to basically open up this little thing right here. That is a Nexus factory image downloader. This will probably take a bit of time. Uh, I don't know. It says complete mismatch canceled will not flash. And if it errors out like that uh, and you get the mismatch screen, uh, don't worry about it actually. It's really no big deal. So what we can do is actually exit out of the screen right here. And once you exit out of it, go ahead and click on the next link in the description of the video. It'll be the factory image link. So go ahead and click on that. It will take you to this website right here, Google developers website. Uh, just go ahead and scroll down and keep scrolling down until you go to the bottom of the page actually. And you'll see factory images for Nexus 7 down at the bottom. Uh, you'll see that under download link, click this link right here. So click that download link and download the file. In your downloads, it will look like this. It will say Nasaki JRO3D or something like that, unless there's an update, uh, but it will say Nasaki, it'll be .tgz at the end. So there you go. So that would be the file that you do need to download, uh, which is a stock file for us. You also need to go ahead and highlight this MD5 checksum and right click and hit copy. So copy that MD5 checksum to your clipboard as well. Now go back to that Nexus 7 uh, root toolkit. So we can go back here and once we are back to our root toolkit, we can actually click this back to stock button again. So hit flash stock, hit okay. Um, and instead of automatically uh, downloading it, actually up at the top hit other. 
browse files and you downloaded a factory image yourself and you want to use that. So uh, up at the top hit other and make sure you download it and hit it yourself. Hit OK. It will take you to your downloads or make sure you navigate to where your download is and find that uh, file you just downloaded. Double click on that file. It'll say analyzing factory image, please be patient. So it's going to go ahead and analyze it and then it will bring up this page where it says hash check verification. So here is where you paste that MD5 sum to so go ahead and hit paste. Um, it'll paste that there just to double check and make sure that the file is valid. Hit OK. And there we go. Now it should go ahead and run through. Double check, make sure that MD5 sum is correct. And it says your file is good to extract and flash. Press OK to continue. So hit OK. Now it's going to extract the file for you. Um, and then it'll actually just go ahead and run through and start the unroot process, getting your phone back to stock. It's going to reboot your Nexus 7 into the bootloader. You'll see it brings up the screen right here. Checking fast boot. All right, so now it says flashing stock will factory reset your device. So it's going to go ahead and factory reset, uh, get rid of your apps, your contacts. I don't know if it'll in if it will uh, remove internal storage or not. Um, I will guess I'll make an annotation about that if it does that. But hit OK if you're ready to continue. So go ahead and hit OK. It'll actually open up a big command prompt here. So it'll flash stock plus unroot. Um, it'll go ahead and sit on the bootloader still. So it'll keep going, it'll write recovery, it'll write every, all the files needed to get you back to stock. Again, this is going to do a factory reset of your device. Again, I don't know if it'll do it of internal storage or not, I'll let you know. So it, it took about a minute on sending system, so keep that in mind. It'll sit on sending system for about a minute, 57.019 seconds to be exact. All right, so it said finished. Uh, it took about 81 seconds total, and it says rebooting our device. Again, our phone's rebooted, but it's not done. You'll see you still got that unlocked icon right there. So again, it's wait for your device to finish booting up. It could appear to be boot looping, so it might go back to that Google screen. So be patient. It could take about 5, 10 minutes to um, basically boot back up. So go ahead and let it boot back up, and I will be back. All right, so uh, you can hit any key to continue on that script. It will exit out. You can actually unplug your uh, device at the moment. Go ahead and get everything set up. You'll see you need to get everything uh, all set up on the tablet. Uh, all you need to do is turn USB debugging back on. Go ahead and go to settings and go to developer options again, and then turn it on, and then hit USB debugging. Hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is turned back on. Once it's turned back on, turned back on you can actually plug your tablet into your PC. So go ahead and plug it back on in, like so. And once we plug it back in, you'll see this update model type uh, screen is here. Uh, once it shows that, you can go ahead and just hit uh, OK, actually. So it says, uh, once you have it in USB debugging mode, hit OK. And it says, if you don't know, check settings about phone. Now we need to determine what uh, our model type is. Uh, you'll see that it doesn't have the latest on here. So what you can do is actually just select the last one, which is OK. So select the last option right there, JR003C, or whatever the latest one is, and hit Apply. And there we go. So that's all you need to do. No big deal. Uh, anyways, uh, we are almost done. All we have to do now is once you get back to complete stock, we have to relock our bootloader. So go ahead and relock the bootloader. It's, uh, it, it shouldn't take too long to do so. It just does one command actually. Uh, but uh, just hit OEM lock right there. And after this should be after you do the flash stock plus on root, obviously. So now hit OK. It's going to check ADB. It'll probably reboot our device into the bootloader once again. And it did. So you'll see back into our bootloader on our Nexus 7. And then it should just type in the command fast boot OEM lock and it should reboot the bootloader, which should not wipe anything. So you don't have to worry about that. And there we go. It says your device should now be relocked. Press OK. Your device will boot back up. Confirm your relocked. I'll show you that in a second. So hit OK. It'll reboot our device at the bottom of the Google screen. There's no more padlock right there. So you know your device is relocked and you're ready to go. And that's it. You're completely back to stock now on your Google Nexus 7 tablet, whether you need to take it back for warranty reasons, anything like that, having issues. So there you go. That would be how to uh, basically unroot or unbrick your Nexus 7 tablet. should boot right back on up. If you have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. 
just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.